Dance to be Wild takes the glitz and glamour of ballroom dance and uses it to effect change. It's helping to build dance development programs around the country and is also a platform which allows dancers to contribute towards preserving wildlife. The tragedy in South Africa is there are millions of children that have never ever seen a wild animal. And that is one of the commitments of Dance to be Wild is to work with government, non-government organisations, conservationists, and even the private sector in actually allowing South African children to be embraced by actually seeing wild animals. We cannot expect them to protect and love what they've never seen. The project works in underprivileged communities, fostering a love for dance and our natural heritage. The children in Katlehong were inspired to do a big walk to spread the message to their neighbours. The very animals that I know and because they're busy killing the rhinos and we want to stop killing them to kill the rhinos. If we don't stop uh, poaching our animals, um, they'll be extinct in a few years' time. And I really don't want that. Like, my kids in the future won't see them. And uh, I like this campaign because it says, uh, sets awareness for everyone to see about them. The dancers involved are proud to be part of a movement which has made significant financial contributions to anti-poaching initiatives like Unite Against Poaching. The actual cost of trying to keep our rangers in the bush to make sure that they're there to be able to conserve our wildlife. And they're fighting a war out there. There's no doubt about it that this war needs all our skills and all the equipment to make sure that we have everything that we can to make sure our rangers have what they, have, what they need to fight this war on our behalf. We're losing an enormous amount of rhinos every year and we can't afford to do this. If we don't keep going, we're definitely going to lose it and we can't afford to lose the rhino. We just can't afford it. The Dance to be Wild dance competition is not only a wonderful showcase of the sport, but it's also a fundraiser to give Rhino Response financial support to help save rhinos which survive poaching attempts. This event is just absolutely unbelievable to get many people uh, fighting the fight. That's what we need to do. That's the, the voice, your voice needs to be heard. And that's why we come all the way from Denmark to make sure that we get our faces on the map and try and save our animals. The project also supports the rhino orphanage, which cares for baby rhinos and rehabilitates them back into the wild so populations don't dwindle further. This is just so amazing because everyone who's involved at the front lines at the moment is really worn down. What suddenly struck me is rhino are incredible creatures. They've got personalities, they're incredibly stoic, they're incredibly resilient and they keep coming back. And to see the, in the dances, you see the same thing. Dance to be Wild has had incredible success reaching tens of thousands of children with wildlife education and sending disadvantaged dancers to see rhino in the wild.